All right, let's talk about gravitational force. Everything on Earth falls with an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared down. Oh, uh, okay, not everything. There's two problems with that. One, the Earth is spinning on its axis, and even though we might like to think that it is a perfect circle, like that is, it's actually more of an oval shape. And since uh, some things, like at the North Pole and the South Pole, would therefore be closer to the center of the Earth than something at the equator, um, the closer you are to the center, the more uh, gravitational force that you will feel. So at the poles, uh, it's going to be slightly bigger. Uh, it's more like 9.8. And at the equator, it's slightly smaller, like 9.78. Yes. But that change, that's a, that's a pretty small amount. Another problem, not everything does, because after things have been falling for a while, they will eventually reach a terminal velocity. Yes. And terminal in English means constant or final, yes, because the air, because of air resistance. The air is going to, or air is going to start pushing back on you as you fall, and actually the faster you fall, so as you start to go faster and faster, um, air friction will also go up. So eventually, um, the, if this is U, the force of gravity will equal to the force of friction from the air. And you will, they'll be equal, the net force will be zero, and therefore A becomes zero, and you reach a terminal velocity. So not everything does, and, you know, we're talking about pieces of paper won't necessarily fall with the same speed as a book. Um, in a vacuum, they will, but not just in our everyday life. So what's causing this acceleration um, of 9.8 meters per second squared down? Um, it would be the force of gravity. And we have touched on this. Uh, force of gravity is equal to mass times this acceleration due to gravity. 9.8 meters per second squared, and we'll have lots of opportunities to practice using that simple formula while in class. Um, here's two terms that are not used very well, uh, mass and weight. Often they're used by people in the street interchangeably, but not in the physics classroom. Mass is the amount of material in an object. We measure that in kilograms uh, <coughs> um, or our American friends would measure it in stones. Um, weight is the, the pull of gravity in objects. So basically, we're talking about the force of gravity here. We would use newtons to measure weight. Our American friends would use pounds to measure weight. Um, let's talk about why satellites stay in orbit and why do uh, astronauts float when they're in a space station in orbit, when gravity is still about 90% of that, that that we would still feel here on Earth, uh, it's because they're falling. They're at free fall around the Earth. Um, and an example of that is the Vomit Comet. When they are filming um, uh, movies about space and they're not going to use um, special effects to get that uh, across, uh, people floating in space, what they do is they take uh, the plane is right here. Yes. This little plane flies up, and then the, the captain says, okay, get ready to film, and then the plane dives. And while it's diving for about a 15 seconds, they film part of the scene. And then the plane goes up again, and the captain says, okay, get ready. Boom, and they drop again. And they film another 15 seconds or so of movie. 
and it just keeps on going. That's the way they used to do it, although special effects has completely changed how movies are made now. Um, when they're in free fall, it looks like the float. Uh, another example is uh, Newton's cannon. Um, Newton's cannon. So if I shoot a cannonball out of this giant cannon, uh, it would hit the ground. And if I shoot a little harder, it would hit the ground. And I shoot a little harder, and it would hit the ground. But I'm hoping that you can see that eventually, if I shoot it with the right velocity, it might just keep falling all the way around. And it would continue to go around and around and around and around. And it would, for all intents and purposes, be in orbit. And this is another little thought experiment of what's happening with satellites in orbit. They are literally falling around the Earth. And I think that um, you need something to fall, or uh, you need it needs to have a forward velocity and then gravity is going to be pulling it down. And it needs to fall about five kilometers for every eight kilometers it moves forward. And then it will just keep on falling around the Earth. One last little example. Here's you falling. Um, you got pushed out of a plane, pushed out of the vomit comet. Um, but now it's you falling in a box. Is there going to be a difference? And the answer is no. If you were in this box, you would be able, to, you would be floating around, just as uh, the people in um, the International Space Station do, and just as this person would be floating around if they weren't in the box. So, um, yes, that's how things stay in orbit. That's why um, astronauts float around. They are actually falling around the edge of the Earth, constantly falling around, moving forward and falling at the same time. And that ends our look on gravitational force.